Hello, hello to you, my fellow printer dweebs. You're very welcome to another episode of Community News from 3D Jake. All the news from the community and what's going on with us too. I'm joining you from the 3D Jake office in the center of Graz in Southern Austria, a country that is both simultaneously proud and embarrassed of DJ Utzi. Here's what's going on in 3D printing right now. Okay, so first up is new filament in the shop. So if you get our newsletter, you will know that we've got a bunch of new filament for our own brand range. I've been playing with it for a while and there will be lots of examples in the coming days and weeks. New matte PLA, new easy PETG and new ABS. Now there is not a huge difference here. The main thing to take home from this is that we have new colors more pastel, more neon for all of them. And the ABS is cheaper now, only $19.99 right now. But the big thing is now they're all suitable for the Bamboo Lab AMS. A lot of you asked for this. It's here, it's done, finally. We will be discontinuing our old range of Matt PLA, PTG, and nice ABS. And you can get some pretty sweet deals on them right now. Clearance sale, mini clearance sale. Okay, what else we got? Ah, we are soon to have Azure Films new range of a matte refill PLAs. 26 matte colors delivered without a spool and at a great price of 18 euro 99 per kilo. If you're not on the refill train yet, it might be an idea. I mean, most people just throw away their empty spools when they're done with their filament. We now have cardboard spools for, for lots of different filaments, but reduce and reuse is before recycle. So consider using a old spool in future. Bamboo Lab have their own reusable spools, which are awesome, but you can also print one like I did right here. This is printed out of our ASA and it just kind of slots in and twists in and it's secure. Putting in an Azure Film refill is ridiculously easy. Just dump it in the bottom halves and add the top one, cut the strap, slide your filament into a hole and it's ready. Easy peasy. Next up is Maker World's new AI model generation. Oh boy. Okay, so you guys know I have some beef with AI model generation in its current state. Bamboo now has a Printamon AI model generator on Maker World, just out of beta. So I tried it. It was interesting. What is cool is that the mesh is good. It's relatively tight and uniform and doesn't depend on color for depth. It also exports the color values for you to use with the AMS in your slicer. However, the, the automatic paint job is not the best and uh, probably better off just painting it yourself in the slicer. And of course, you're limited to these cute mon things, so you can't generate anything else besides these. Um, so it's okay, I guess. The mesh is good. I'll give them that. In other Bamboo news, their next generation 3D printer has been delayed until the new year. We can't have everything. Speaking of things Bamboo can't do, uh, MIT and Delft University have developed a new single material multicolored printing technique. Ooh, This is fascinating, actually. They used an Ultimaker dual extruder printer. I think it's an Ultimaker. It looks like it. And uh, used temperature sensitive materials. Uh, that sounds exotic, but actually these are... Uh, wood and cork filled PLA and uh, lightweight PLA and you can get these in our shop. They use these because depending on the temperature that they are exposed to the color will change in, in terms of luminosity I think. Uh, this isn't really anything new. Anyone who has tried to print filament at higher temperatures will know that it turns out a bit glossy when it's at high temperature or when the flow is quite low and when you print at higher speed uh, and lower temperature it becomes a bit more matte. This is quite similar. So it seems the team simply adjusted the G-code on the Ultimaker to make the second nozzle on the printer, which had no material in it. Uh, they made that hot and just made it iron around the parts that they wanted to change the color. That's it. And apparently they can change how opaque and how translucent it is as well with the same method. Now, this isn't exactly multicolor as we know it, but it does open the door for printing in multiple colors with basically no waste. And you can technically do gradients with this, which is something that is quite difficult to do with any MMU. It's a very cool idea. In another new tech advancement, we have gel 3D printing. This isn't exactly new, but you might have seen this video and it looks amazing, so I have to talk about it. Uh, so French fashion house Caperni have produced a silicone bag using a rapid liquid printing technique developed by, you guessed it, MIT. How this works is that silicone resin is injected into a viscous water-based gel. This gel is basically a substrate only, 
uh, which holds the resin in place while it cures. We've seen silicone resin printing before, and the main problem they have with this is that silicone resin takes a while to cure, of course. Uh, with this method, that's not a huge concern because the gel kind of holds everything together while it cures. So you can go on to the next layer without that previous layer just kind of oozing out. And that also means you don't need any supports with this. Everything is supported by the gel. And when you're done, you just take it out and wash off the water-based gel. Easy. This is really, really cool. This is very cool. Okay, lastly, but certainly not least, uh, Cocoa Press have released their version two, which now uses Clipper, hurrah. So in their older version, they had a Marlin-based system, which made configuration and modding less easy. So we now have Clipper on these printers, which means easy modification, uh, easy profile changes, and a fancy new UI with a big touchscreen. They are using the BTT Hermit Crab, and this is to enable quick tool head changes. And they're doing this with an add-on that will be released with the version 2 called the Cocoa Buddy, which is externally heated. So you can just take it off, replace the old tool head, and you can have new materials and new colors. And because it's externally heated, there's no wait time. So you just put it on and continue printing. Very, very cool. I'm looking forward to this one. Okay, that about does it for this month. As always, links to all of the stories and products mentioned are down below in the description. And if you think we should cover something in our next community news, then let us know. We now have a new community news channel in our Discord server. So if you want to discuss any of the news stories we covered here or suggest your own, you can do it right there. We'll be back with another video next week. So tune in then if you can. We'll see you guys next time. Later.